Senator Blackburn, while we're figuring out uh, what's going on with Senator Bozeman Sound, why don't you go ahead and ask your questions? Uh, yes, I wanted to um, follow up on the toxic exposure issue. I had a question about the K-2 veterans and legislation that I had had that we were able to get through uh, parts of it last year and then President Trump issued an executive order um, do, handling much of what we needed around the K-2 veterans. This is back, uh, really affects some of the fifth group out of Fort Campbell, uh, the 160th, and uh, people that are constituents of ours in Tennessee. So I would like for you to comment on the K-2 veterans and what you are hearing from them as, a, as it relates to the hazards, uh, the chemical hazards, uh, the exposure, the risk that this has to their health. Senator, thank you for that question. Hey, Jim, if you could elaborate a little bit more on the K-2, that'd be great, Jim. Thanks, Commander. DAV fully supports K-2 Veterans Care Act as it will provide healthcare eligibility and establish a framework for presumptive diseases. Um, that obviously could lead to benefits for these veterans. As we know, and as you mentioned, there's a lot of veterans. There's up to 15,000 service members that were, that were deployed to, to uh, the K-2 Air Base. Uh, so it's very important that we get it right now to ensure that they're taken care of. Um, I haven't spoken to any one of our members who've been personally exposed on that particular base, uh, but we know, again, 15,000 veterans were. So it's important that we do whatever we can to ensure that they are taken care of if they develop any illnesses associated with those exposures. Okay, thank you. 